son-in-law, who has only been my son-in-law a year, so he's fresh in. We haven't quite got him broke in yet. His dad's carpet store, my daughter actually works there as well. Found this piece. I don't know if somebody had him take it. I don't know how he got this piece. I'm gonna go to the dump. And my daughter somehow seen it and she said, no, my mom will want that. It had the two tiered with the legs, old style table, and it, it wasn't solid wood, so he thought there's no way she would want that, and it's a piece of junk. These squares are for door trim, and they were about $4 a piece, and the wrought iron things are $4 a piece, but you can use a coupon to get them 50% off at Hobby Lobby. And it was kind of like they had staple gun the little spindles, and it was just kind of janky. It was not good, and I thought, there is no way I want to deal with that. A couple of them were broke, so I just cut the two levels off and harvested all the parts, the little spindles. I've seen some of my sister retailers paint them different colors and use those for our color shade examples. So those will be used, but I've got other ideas too. So here I'm just going in an inch and marking it because it looks better inset a little bit. And I've already done my crisscross in the middle to get all the four feet in the right spot. Use the right length of screws or it'll pop through the top of your table. So I live a thousand miles away from her. So she kept it in her garage and I was down and I was in a car instead of flying. And so she said, mom, do you want to take this? And I was like, uh, yes. She said, I had to save it from Joel. And I was like, he doesn't get it yet. And then the two levels I'm doing what you see here, but my next one I'll put with a lazy Susan mechanism is what I'm thinking. The legs, I will show a picture. I use those because they already have the screw mechanisms. Those are amazing. You just screw the little screw thing in and then the legs have a screw in it and you just screw it in. Parts are going to be used. So I'm like um, not an organ saver user. I am a, a furniture organ harvester and yeah and then I sell them so that's bad. When you flip this over to set it on their counter, the iron would have been scratching it because it was longer than my wood piece. So I put the shim in here, and so the wood piece isn't really connected to the tabletop, but there's kind of a gap there, but when it's flipped over, it doesn't show, and so I just went with it. Um, this is not master craftsmanship I'm doing here. Look away. Oh, these darn stickers. So I got this little Harbor Freight razor holder. They're great. I think they're like under a dollar and they're amazing. If I would have had some lemon oil, I heard you could put that on there and that helped get stickers off, but there you go. So take a permanent marker and color in where the screws go so that you can pre-drill to keep from splitting your wood or your top. So here is the, you can see the little black will look cute when you're sitting on your couch. The black candles. Okay, why? Why did I forget to paint this before I put these on there? I'm an iron orchid stockist and this is their first generation transfer. I have a couple left or somebody else might have one, but they do not make this one any longer. So this is a really slick surface. So I'm using our DIY Salvation Solution to prime. It will also keep it from tandem bleed. When you do what I do, you have weird stuff in your cars all the time. I used to drive a pickup and we live an hour and a half from Oklahoma City, which is our big shopping, because my town is like 1,400 people. My storefront town is like 4,000 people, so you gotta go big shopping in Oklahoma City. And my daughter didn't know I was up there one day, and she was like, that looks like mom's truck. I wonder, she, I didn't know she's coming to the city. And then she sees a big, long rope that was just dangling back behind my truck. And she's like, mom's here. So she's like, mom, I see you're in the city that you're pulling out of Krispy Kremes. Oh, do you want to go to lunch? Because I just stuffed my face with Krispy Kreme. 
I am mixing skeleton key with little black dress to make the gray that matches the medallion on the transfer. And a teacup, it's just so fun to mix your paint in little teacups. Hey Charlotte, um, back on Fifth Street in the alley, solid wood, you better hurry. Yeah, that's the kind of phone calls I get from him now. He's morphing. Oh, I wondered if that was you. And then I seen that, that couch has been in the back of your, actually it was a chair has been in the back of your car for like ever or so, and they were kind of making fun of me. And yeah, my husband's just given up. I still say to my husband, you used to be so classy before you got with me. They were, they were a classy family, and then Sanford and Son. So these are bronze instead of black and the handles on top are black. So I'm just putting some little black dress over them. DIY can paint metal and then you just seal it with wax or wax. Somebody the other day was like, hey, um, come by and get this stuff. You can have it for free. You don't even have to dumpster dive. You can just have it. And my husband said, oh, just throw it in the back of the yard. But you got to sing the song Sanford and Son. So he's not even embarrassed anymore. It's making us money. I make money off of it. I'm using Queen Bee. It'll always be special to me. It is the first color I ever busted open after becoming a retailer, and I have had yellow in every house that I've had for an accent color. I do two coats, and after that's dry, I put a water-based Big Top is our top coat sealer, and I did that because you have to put that on before you do a transfer. And then you have to wax or water-based top coat to seal the transfer. So I chose black wax. So if I wouldn't have been so impatient and would have thought to paint this first and then put these on, I wouldn't have had to get my little Paint Pixie Artist Brush, which worked out fine, and go all up and around this. You can paint metal with DIY. And I didn't do a great job, so I got some on there. If you don't seal it, you can just wipe it or chip it off with your fingernail or get a wet rag and wipe it off the metal. It's fine, it's, it's an extra step. So on that note about impatience and excitement and zeal, there's many things on here that could have been better if I would have been patient and thought it through, but I had the vision, I had all the parts and I was ready to go. So one time my husband and I got a new table and chairs. It had been a long time since I got a new, oh, I'm supposed to be looking over here, table and chairs. So I happened to pull up from work and the furniture truck was delivering it. And we have a circle drive. And so they were in the circle drive. And so I just parked out in the street, not even a good park out in the street. And I jumped out of the driver's side and ran around and went and um, hugged, loved, and squeezed on my new furniture. I probably staged it, I probably said it, who knows what. Well, the next day we get up and I don't know if it was one of my girls or my husband where they were like, um, I'm gonna call you for Gump. And the reason is, um, like I seen that furniture and I started taking off running. I mean, I just started running, left the door open, left the keys in the car, left the car parked out in the street and probably my purse too. And I did hair then. So I probably had a lot of good cash in my bill book. You know, my stories get better and better every time I tell them. But yeah, so just be patient. Think some things through. I love those kind of people. I, I love you if you're that kind of person. People like me need you. I don't know if you need me. So if you would like more um, inspiration from this kind of stuff, just follow me on my YouTube channel, Decorizing Your Life. And thank you for watching DIY A Go Go. Every day a new video is released. All my socials are Decorizing Your Life. My YouTube, my Facebook, Instagram, my website is decorizingyourlife.com. And if you'll look in the description boxes, I have links to um, my web, anything you might need. So after you use the stick that comes with the iron orchid transfer, you take and push it down with your finger to make sure it's all down and then you burnish it with a soft cloth or like I'm using the backing and just getting it down. Then I am putting black wax over the entire piece to seal it. I thought I filmed doing the little stamps with ink around the edges, but it didn't film. So anyways, I did some stamping around the edges.
Na 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 na